What's going on everyone? It's Friday. Welcome back to another YouTube video. This is just a laid back video. We're going to be talking about HIP39 and the re-denomination that Helium has proposed. A lot of people have talked about it and now it is actually coming into a vote. So it's really important that you guys know about this and for the future of the Helium project is that it's the people's network and you were actually allowed to vote on what you believe. So there are two options here and uh, based, basically based on the amount of helium that you own, this is going to be very similar to normal uh, democratic elections, based on the uh, population that you have or the amount of helium that you own determines how much of an impact on the vote you have. Yes, it does kind of seem a little uh, biased towards the crypto whales and the people that have gotten an early start in it, but I feel like also that they have been rewarded that opportunity for being early users and stuff like that. And uh, some people who cheated the system also had a lot of HNT. So it, it's just, I don't know, that's just an opinion, but let's get into the video. So I forgot to say the like, comment, and subscribe. I'm all, I am all over the place today. It's Friday. That's all I can say. But if you guys do have a Helium account, a Helium wallet, and you have HNT in it, you need to pay attention to this because this is going to pertain to you, basically everyone who owns Helium. So the HIP39 redenomination is going to be a 1000 to 1 token redenomination. So if we look at the price of Helium right now, even if I go to, let's go to the Helium Explorer and I can look at uh, my hotspot just, just to give a uh, sharp crimson, or you'd think I'd know how to spell it by now. And you can see I've earned 0.32 helium in the past 24 hours. Basically what it's going to be doing is it's going to be a 1000 to one. So one helium is now going to be worth, worth 1000 helium. So the 1000 helium is still going to be worth the total of the one helium. So if I had, let's say helium is priced at, let's just round it up to $50. You're going to have 1000 helium priced at five cents. So the, the price of helium is going to obviously tank tank in theory but there's going to be a larger supply and if you guys want to read more information on this there's a a full detailed thing on github and i'll have this linked in the description below but i wanted to go through this with you guys so currently there are 100 million bones per hnt and think of bones as satoshi to bitcoin there is a satoshi is like the smallest amount of uh, Bitcoin you can get. So bones are, are the Satoshis to HNT. So um, they talk about why they want to do it. And um, for most of Helium's history, people have been okay with getting one HNT per day. But now with the halving and the tenfold increase in gateway deployments, earnings have been reduced to partial fractions. I completely understand like when I have days where I'm earning 0.3 HNT, it's a bummer. But when I have days where I'm earning like one HNT, it's really exciting. So the whole goal is, as we've seen in Helium, there were very few complaints when gateway owners were earning more HNT at a lower daily mining rate. The re-denomination would cause individuals to earn in higher HNT increments again, even if earnings stayed the same. So it's kind of a mental game at this point. Um, obviously, if you have more of an asset, you feel like you are bigger into the project. Um, even though the market price of HNT has increased approximately 20 times since August, um, the median earnings have been generally consistent there has been growing just just content with the HT earning rate and behavioral economics this is an important part the perf the preference for obtaining full units is called unit bias in general people prefer earning rewards denominated in full units rather than partial units so that is probably the main reason why they want to do this is because it's going to give people um the the idea that they're getting more of HNT, but in reality, they're getting the same amount. But along with having more supply, if you look at Dogecoin and Shiba Inu and stuff like that, even though I don't like talking about meme coins, it is important to bring them up because they are such small fractions of a cent. You can buy a whole bunch of them and it makes a lot of people feel like they are a part of a project um, because they own so much of it. So like I will own like a million Shiba Inu and it makes me feel like I, you know, I, I'm a big part of the project. So simplica simplifications, anyone that has mined or transacted in Bitcoin or ETH has dealt with earning extremely small fractions. Yes, I 
totally understand that. It can be frustrating. So there's also a small token investment bias. Uh, tokens that are priced at a low typically see by the market as inexpensive regardless of the size of the project's market cap. In general, high issuance tokens have benefited from this investment bias because the tokens are perceived to have more upside than higher dollar tokens. Very good point. If you look at, let's just duplicate here, go to the price of Bitcoin. You guys obviously know it's really high price right now. You kind of don't know how high it's going to go. Like, I don't know. It, it, maybe it'll hit 100,000, but it, it's a lot. It seems a lot less likely for that to hit 100,000 versus uh, something like Polygon to hit $2 or to hit $3, something like that. And I'm just picking a currency. Don't don't invest just because I said that, but I was just picking a random one. Uh, so the idea of this, and especially with Dogecoin too, like, is it even still on the list here? Yeah, Dogecoin, 26 cents. It's more likely for Dogecoin to hit 30 cents than for Bitcoin to hit um, 75,000. Uh, just because people think that it's easier and more accessible for people to buy whole numbers, uh, the full amount of Doge, stuff like that. Um, also, stakeholders are going, so everyone's going to be affected by this. And I asked officially, because this is something that I was wondering, regarding validators initially, as of right now, it's 10,000 HNT to be a validator. Once the 1,000 to 1 denomination, redenomination happens, it's going to be 10 million HNT to start that. So I just wanted to put that out there. Um, there's other stuff that they were talking about. Those gateways are earning 0.1 HNT and 0.5 HNT per day, meaning the post redenomination would earn them 100 and 500 HNT per day. While it may seem excessive, we can safely assume that there will be an excess of 3 million gateways online in the next two years. That's insane. Which would, in conjunction with the second halving, bring post re-denomination mining down to 2.5 to 7.5 helium per day that's awesome so uh everyone mining right now is going to be uh basically where we were at before the previous halving so we're going to be getting an excess amount of helium and it's going to seem like wow this is a lot but when the next halving comes in two years um it's going to be like we're all going to be whales guys it's really cool so uh in line with Above, the HNT transactions will be handled without needing to count out an excessive number of decimal points. For example, if HNT's price reached $100, equivalent to 10 cents post redenomination, buying 1,000 DCs would equate to 0 0.0001 HNT versus costing 0.1 HNT uh, post redenomination. Okay, so it's going to make things seem a lot easier. It's actually going to make 1,000 DCs worth 0.1 HNT instead of 0 0.0001, but it, you're also getting a lot more of HNT. So, uh, then they have the drawbacks here and they said that Polkadot and XEC, I'm not sure what XEC is, have been accompanied by significant increases in market cap while um, they did do the redenominations. So it's a positive trend. And this is a trend that has happened with stock markets as well with redenomination. Apple did it. A lot of companies did it. I think Apple did it in like the 70s or 90s. I don't know. In the past decade or a century, I don't know. I'm, I'm falling behind here. Um <laughs> they did that so um it happens and i just want to say that it's not something to to be worried about and if you guys do believe that you want this to happen and it looks like it's actually going to be happening there's 2.6 million hnt for it and 1.3 against it if this does happen and i to be honest with you guys at first i didn't want it to happen but now after reading the notes and once again this will be in the description for you guys to check it out after reading the notes, I do believe it is the best idea going forward. It's going to bring a lot of people into the, the Helium network community, especially with the launch of light hotspots coming up. Um, with the massive increase in vendors that are producing these hotspots and the general availability of these hotspots being more uh, common, more easily accessible. Uh, the prices on eBay have come down drastically. You can now pick up a rack miner. I know this because I just sold my rack miner for about $800. So that's cheaper than buying most graphic cards now, and it's making more than most graphics cards. You just have to know how to set them up properly. So I think having all of this set up, the uh, redenomination is going to make it so that people are going to be more interested in this project. They're going to see that, oh, it's actually a more reasonable price to buy because $48 right now, although that's nice for the people that own Helium, the people that want to buy Helium, that is a lot versus let me throw $20 into Dogecoin and get 
500 dogecoin now you're going to be able to throw 20 dollars into helium and get what uh 20 000 helium so it, it, it's just really cool um the math was wrong on that but you guys know what i'm talking about but it, it it's really cool and i think uh you guys are missing out if you don't vote on this so there is an a notification that came on your phone i'm going to show you guys right here um if you see it's not going to show very well but uh, if you have the Helium app, there will be a notification that says cast your vote for HIP19 if you go to the notification bell. And then again, you can also just use the link that I put here um, and then it'll show you how to vote. So you just scan this QR code and you vote uh, or you can vote with this command um, and that that will be it. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you would like to talk more about this, we're talking about this in my Discord server, which is also in the description below. Uh, we could also talk in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. If you want me to do a live stream on helium and just try and just spew all the information I know out to you guys, also let me know about that. Uh, let me go full video here. So I really hope you guys did enjoy that video. Just a little uh, explanation of what the re-denomination is. Please make sure that you guys like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications to be notified when I upload new videos. Once again, it is Friday. It's a little laid back. I'm just trying to... Uh, get some content out there for you guys so you understand what's the future for helium and i think and i'm not trying to push votes which way or whatever obviously you guys vote for how you feel but i really do think after all, all the points that i made that this is going to be the best uh case moving forward for helium it's not like they are um taking money away from us it's actually going to give us the opportunity to earn more because we're going to be getting more of helium and then we'll be able to the price is 100% going to go up just as it went up with the halving. It's not financial advice. That's my opinion. My opinion is fact. So take that with a grain of salt, rice. I don't know. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys. Uh, I might do a live stream. Um, yeah, I'm talking too much. But people only pay attention when I post videos. They don't check out the community page. Check out the community page and join my Discord. And I might do a live stream Friday night, which is tonight when you're watching this video. I'm talking too much. Goodbye.